Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. How do you reinvent the wheel? We had the opportunity to speak with the CEO of Softwheel and see how Israelis are transforming the way people ride bicycles and use wheelchairs. Let's take a closer look. Since the beginning of time, people have been focusing on developing the perfect wheel. Yes. And uh, your company is uh, really transforming the way people use wheels uh, for adventure, for people who are in wheelchairs to be more effective uh, in travel. So tell us a little bit about how you got started. Well, uh, it started about six years ago when there were a mistake led us to, to develop our brand new wheels and literally reinventing the wheel. Uh, what we basically are doing is we're putting suspension inside of the of a wheel. Uh, as an idea, it's not a, a, a new idea. People have been trying to do it for about 200 years, but they kept on failing time and time again. Um, by mistake, because we forgot to do our research, we didn't know it's supposed to be impossible, so we basically started developing it because we tried to build better suspension for a wheelchair, uh, and we couldn't do it inside the frame. And if you look at the wheelchair, it's either the chair or the wheels. There's nowhere else. So we we kept hitting a wall after a wall, but overcoming them, and came out with a brand new technology that completely revolutionizes the way a wheel works and transportation, especially. Talk about a little bit of the technology uh, behind the wheels. Right. So in terms of technology, what we're doing is we created the world's first ever in-wheel adaptive suspension, meaning the, the uh, wheel, the suspension system, adapts to road conditions. So when you don't need suspension, it's completely rigid like any wheel out there. But when the uh, suspension is required, the hub of the wheel, what you see basically here, moves. All this hub can move freely within the diameter of the wheel. And that small movement is so efficient that it can literally absorb all that energy. And by doing that, we by, by allowing it to move freely within the diameter of the wheel, what we can do basically, we are reformulating Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an opposite and equal reaction, not in our wheels. If you think about a curb, let's say you're riding your bike and you hit a curb, what happens is you've been pushed backwards, right? And you either fall off your bike or you have to put more power into overcoming the obstacle. In our technology, the hub moves towards the direction of the uh, of the curb, allowing the the uh, bike to keep its forward momentum, overcoming the obstacle in a safer, much more efficient manner. Basically, what we can show today is we can show about 20% more energy efficiency, better stability, higher uh, uh, performance, and lower weights. And so, tell us about like where you're based. Uh, we're currently based in Israel, Tel Aviv, in the Czech Republic, and in the United States. And the one thing about uh, sort of Israeli technology uh, is the sort of you hear the chutzpah. Like people like they, they look at a, they look at a situation and be like we can change. Yes. We can change it. So what what's your thoughts about sort of like that that drive? Well, that's my fourth startup, um, and all the teams that I've been working with uh, have. In the past, our, we, all, we had only one rule, ever. Uh, the rule is nothing is impossible, and we always meant it. Um, we don't use impossible. We, they, nobody uses that term. It's how you make it possible. Um, I don't know if you call it Israeli chutzpah, but what you can is that we, if, if somebody would have told us that was impossible, we would still go and do that. I mean, it's. It's not a matter of what you can't do, it's a matter of how and what you can do. Uh, and that's what drives us throughout the years. One of the things that I, I found very compelling is how you're using it on wheelchairs. Uh, you know, there's kind of like the standard over the years of like this is what happens, but now with, with this wheels, you're actually giving a better way of life for people with disabilities. Providing them freedom. Wheelchair riders sometimes choose not to go places where there is cobblestone, where there are steps, curbs. They choose not to go there, and why? Because it breaks their back, it, it's excruciating pain, back pain. We're solving that. There is no back pain. They can go wherever they want. If they want to go down the stairs, down a flight of stairs, they want to jump a curb, 
go over cobblestone. They can go anywhere they want. They have their freedom. That's why we're giving them. The sub issue that, again, we're giving them is better health, lower or fewer back pains, uh, lower injuries rates, etc. Where can people purchase uh, the wheels? All around the world. We are selling them while, worldwide from Australia to Africa, Asia, um, Europe and the US. Uh, just contact, go on our website, contact our dealers. What, what's a typical retail price? Oh, that that's, Ver varies. That varies. It's yeah. retails and, and dealers. And we, 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 we don't, unfortunately, we can't sell directly to the end user, hence we can't control Got the it. market risk, the market price. Okay. What's your hope for the future? Oh, no worries. After. <laughs> uh, I, I do hope so. Yeah. Um, we are here to revolutionize transportation. The um, wheelchair is the first, and it's the first product, and it's the beginning. The bicycle would dramatically change how we commute in, in, in a city, in a smart city, especially if we incorporate hub motors inside, which dramatically is going to change uh, how a smart city is going to look like, especially when, you know, in 20 years from now, there will be no cars inside the cities. We're doing landing gears for aircraft. We're doing much more. As you can see, it just takes a little bit of innovation and out-of-box thinking to transform the lives of people with disabilities, enhance bicycles, and much more. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.